I hope you've had a really fun day today, whatever it is that you've been doing. And uh, I hope you're all snuggled and ready in your jammies. I've got my pajamas on and my slippers. Got to keep those feet warm. And ready for our Christmas Eve bedtime story. So kids, I'm very excited. We have got such a special story to share with you this evening. And um, so why don't you get yourselves ready? And um, maybe you need a blanket or you need a little hot chocolate treat on Christmas Eve. As it's Christmas Eve, I'm sure your parents will let you so we can get ready to read this story together and um, hear about why we celebrate Christmas and what it is all about for us. So I've got a special book here. So why don't you make sure you're ready as I open it up and should we see what it's called? So it says, The Night Before Christmas, written by... Emily Parker, and illustrated by Julia O'Neill, who, if you don't know kids, is my mum. So this is a mother-daughter combo to bring you your Christmas Eve bedtime story. So make sure you're comfortable and ready to enjoy this. Here we are, and you have to look at the beautiful pictures my mum has done. And also, as we're reading... I need to, you to see if you can spot the star on every page. So as we're doing this, why don't you make sure and uh, get close to the telly if you need to as well to see if you can find the star that is on every page, golden star like this. Okay, here we go. It was the night before Christmas when all through the earth God had been silent awaiting this birth. The manger was set in the stable with care, with hope the baby Jesus would soon be there. The animals were nestled all snug in the hay, while visions came to wise men far away. And Mary the mum and Joseph the dad sat waiting as the stars began to show and the daylight was fading. When out in the fields there arose a great singing, the shepherds in shock to one another were clinging. Away to the sky they saw a great light as a beautiful angel appeared in the night. Do not be afraid, I bring you good news. Today a saviour has been born, a messiah for you. The angel's message was good news indeed. Instructions were shared which, to the saviour, they would lead. Can you see the angel appearing to the shepherds? With a loud burst of song so lovely and clear, the shepherds knew in a moment many angels were near. Glory to God in heaven was their song before they departed and the shepherds ran along. Now shepherd, now herdsman, now poor man and friend, to Bethlehem we must go and to the Saviour attend, to the place where a baby is held in a stall. We'll dash away, dash away, dash away all. Here they are, off to Bethlehem they go to find the baby Jesus. And then in a twinkling there arose a great star rising above a stable seen from afar. As the shepherds drew close, the wise men moved on following the bright star to find God's son. Here you see the wise men are starting to make their way there as well. He was dressed in swaddling from head to toe and was laid in a manger that didn't show how holy this child was, the saviour king, which had caused all the angels outside to sing. You see the baby Jesus is where he is in his manger. The shepherds then entered with excitement and joy and fell on their knees to worship this boy. As soon as they'd seen him, they left with hearts full and spread the good news to one and all. The, the wise men then arrived at the stable door, their riches in contrast to this sight so poor. On seeing the baby, they bowed down on their knees and presented their gifts 
for the family to see. Here's the wise men. Do you remember in the story they brought gifts for baby Jesus? Shall we find out what they brought him? Frankincense to show that he was God's son. Myrrh to show that over death he has won. And gold for a king who rules over the earth to bring new life through his miraculous birth. Look, and these are what the gifts could have looked like that they brought him. And Mary and Joseph with their newborn son sat silent in wonder at all that had been done. Mary stored in her heart all she'd seen and was said to treasure and to ponder in the coming days ahead. It's Mary and Joseph. Can you imagine just sitting with your baby Jesus after all those visitors? So let's all be thankful for this baby's birth when Jesus, our Savior, came to this earth. Now we can exclaim with voices so bright, Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. And Merry Christmas to all of you as well. Hey kids, well I hope you enjoyed that story and hearing about the birth of baby Jesus. And isn't it so true that we can be so thankful this evening as we go to bed tonight excited for our Christmas days tomorrow, knowing it's all because Jesus chose to come as a baby all those years ago and all he has done for us since. We can be so grateful and so excited for and we can say happy Christmas knowing what it really is all about. So let me say a quick prayer for you kids as you go to bed this evening. Anna, just bless you and, and your Christmas day. So like we always do, let's put our hands together and close our eyes just to help us focus on speaking to Jesus. Dear Jesus, I thank you for every child watching and I pray that they would know how much it is that you love them. And I pray that they would know your joy and your peace and excitement over their Christmas time. Jesus, I pray that even if it looks different for them this year, that they would still have such a joyful time and they would truly, truly know the meaning of Christmas and be so grateful that they know who you are. Jesus Christ, their saviour who came as a baby all those years ago. Amen. Hey kids, well, Merry Christmas and I hope you truly have a wonderful Christmas Day.